Hello best friend and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Girl, if this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me, grab a snack, grab a drink, hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. You guys, we have to talk about Kourtney Kardashian. There is trouble in Calabasas, honey. The Kardashians are coming for each other and it's not pretty, bitch. So on the latest episode of the Kardashians, well, well, first before with that, there has been a lot of rumblings about that Kourtney Kardashian and Kim are not getting along. Now there has been a lot of this talk throughout the couple, I mean like for the past like year. And when you're watching the episode, you're kind of putting everything together, piece all the pieces together. You definitely have seen that Kourtney is in her Travis Barker land, you know, newlywed, you know, she's really kind of separated herself from the, the, the spectacle that is the Kardashians. And in this new season, season three, they're on episode three, I believe, um, Courtney expresses her anger towards Kim Kardashian. So let me take you back. Courtney Kardashian uh, got married uh, with Dolce and Gabbana. They organized the whole event Courtney goes on vacation with her family every single year to Dolce & Gabbana's castle. It's like it's like a private beach, a castle in Italy. Gorgeous thing. I mean, you can see all that in Till Death Do Us Part on Hulu. It's a special of Courtney and Travis getting married. Well, anyways, they um, Dolce & Gabbana organized everything. Courtney Kardashian got all the looks from Dolce & Gabbana's archives from the 90s and 2000s. This is very important to remember. So... Her whole vibe was Dolce & Gabbana 90s and early 2000s and that, you know, the fashion and the vibe and everything. So while they were in uh, Italy, allegedly Kim Kardashian was approached by Dolce & Gabbana and asked to do a future collab. So Kim Kardashian was like, you know, let's, let's enjoy the wedding and we, you know, we can talk about it later on or, you know, something like that. And she, Kim Kardashian makes it very um, clear that she was very respectful of Courtney. She did not want to overshadow Courtney or, you know, do anything similar that Courtney did for her wedding, which was working very close with Dolce and Gabbana. They organized a whole thing with the 90s and 2000s archives, okay? So flash forward, uh, Kim Kardashian calls Courtney and says that her and... Uh, Dolce & Gabbana are thinking about doing a collab between Dolce and Skims, her her uh, her like undergarments uh, line. And so Courtney was like, okay, whatever. And then come to find out that Dolce & Gabbana hired Kim to be their like producer, uh, executive producer of a new show and that she got to choose all of the looks and Kim Kardashian had to organize like a, a like a line of old archive looks, but modern modern twist to them from the '90s and 2000s. So that is exactly the same as Courtney's wedding. So what happened here was very shady. So Courtney did not hear about this from nobody in the family. Usually, uh, Kris Jenner she organizes everything she is the manager you know she she is the one who who cracks down the deals and she did not tell courtney that kim kardashian was doing this no one told courtney okay i guess courtney found out through you know other other people and kim in the show says she's very uh she was very strict and she has many emails telling the dolce and gabbana if they could please extend or they could like you know uh, wait at least a year after the wedding so it was not you know so on top of the wedding so this was like four months after the wedding so now let's talk about this Kourtney Kardashian is pissed the fuck off and she has a scene with Kendall Jenner where she says that she feels that Kim Kardashian only sees money signs that Kim Kardashian only sees opportunities only sees this and that she does not care what kind of, well, I mean, these are not her exact words, but it's like, I'm summarizing it. Like she doesn't care what 
what Kim Kardashian has to sacrifice or who she has to step on to get to where she wants to go. And that Courtney doesn't believe in hurting your family over money, right? So some people are kind of divided. They're like, well, Courtney, they kind of just like did your wedding. You know, you chose the looks like Kim Kardashian is doing something completely different. You know, she's creating a whole line which is gonna go on sale um, and, and she's executive producing this whole show. And so people are like, Courtney should not even be angry. She should be happy, you know, for Kim. And, and you know, they both got something amazing out of Dolce & Gabbana. So Courtney has a scene with Kendall Jenner where she sits there and she tells her all that I just told you. And, you know, Kendall Jenner is like, look, I see both sides. But I also think that when a sister gets a humongous opportunity and gets offered a lot of money that we should be supportive. So here goes the like the long time kind of war between, you know, what should you do for money and what should you not do for money, right? I can see that Kourtney Kardashian definitely feels like, you know, that Kim might have kind of copied her. Well, she did say that, you know, she basically took the whole idea from Kourtney I do feel like maybe the Courtney, this is just my opinion, maybe Courtney thought that the most natural thing was since her wedding caused so much commotion that maybe Dolce & Gabbana should have chosen her to do it. But if we are being very honest, Kim Kardashian's name is an iconist is a lot bigger than Courtney's. Even though Courtney is the people's favorite, Kim Kardashian holds the title of being the most famous one, right? So of course, Don Chingabana is gonna choose the most famous one. And one thing about these sisters is they have not worked together in a very long time. They used to have to uh, do brand deals together until Kim Kardashian was starting to be offered her own thing uh, without the sisters. So I definitely think that there, I, I, I never wanna say that somebody's jealous, but I do think that there's like an anger there that comes uh, with a little bit of jealousy. I also think that the way that Kim and Ka and uh, Chris handled this is completely wrong. I think that Kim and uh, Chris organizing this new project should have sat down with Courtney and really talked to her. But at the same time, this is one of the biggest opportunities ever for Kim Kardashian and Kim Kardashian's whole career that I feel like, you know, I don't think she really needed uh, Courtney Kardashian's approval or blessing. I think just the 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 fact to say like, look, I've I, I'm gonna say yes to this, and I hope you know that I'm definitely taking your feelings into consideration. I have expressed my 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 um I've expressed that to Dolce and Gabbana that I definitely want to wait a while and not overshadow your your um your wedding. I think that's very important. And I also think that it's important that we, you know, as sisters support one another. Now, I'm not exactly sure how much Kim Kardashian was offered, but I feel that, you know, it was, I mean, this is a very big opportunity. It's Dolce & Gabbana, you know what I mean? So I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think Courtney has a right to be angry? Do you think that Kim is right? I mean, Kim Kardashian definitely gets uh, a lot of flack for choosing money and projects over family. But I, I think that this is such a humongous opportunity uh, that I feel like, you know, maybe Courtney should support uh, Kim. But I also feel that Kris Jenner really dropped the ball on this one, knowing that Courtney is angry, knowing that Courtney is hurt. She could have stepped in as the manager and say, like, look, we have to figure this out. You know what I mean? So. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.